Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to 5 Minutes with Phil. We are thrilled that you have joined us here today for yet another edition. And uh, this week is Thanksgiving week. Can you believe that? We're already at Thanksgiving. And uh, I thought that I would take this week to use that as an emphasis for uh, our scriptures for uh, for the whole week. And so I want to uh, draw our attention to uh, a few places where we are instructed to give thanks, but also what comes with giving thanks as well. So um, I think you're going to enjoy these. Uh, so for my first one today on this Monday, I want to take you to uh, the book of Colossians chapter 3. And uh, take a look at the screen as we read this. Here's what it says. He said, uh, uh, Paul, Paul says this, And whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. So whatever you do in word or deed, uh, do it in the name of the Lord. <clears throat> and with that, giving God thanks. Uh, as you as you as you do that, give God thanks through Jesus Christ. I love this verse because it really speaks to how we, as followers of Jesus, need to practice excellence in our work, uh, in our ministry. What we do for the Lord um, is not just limited to what we do on Sunday morning. A lot of people think that. Uh, giving my best for the Lord means that I sing my best or that I preach or teach my best or I serve on Sunday morning in my church or, or maybe throughout the week. It's not even a, limited to what you do in the context of a church or ministry or a church building. There's so much more than that. Um, whatever you do, for example, maybe we've got some... Uh, some students that are athletes, for example. <clears throat> if you're on the basketball court, if you're a cheerleader, or, or wherever you might fall in that, maybe you're gifted in the arts, and uh, you're in, in drama or music or something like that, give your best at what you do. And give God thanks for that gift that he's given you. That's when God is most pleased. Uh, when you work at the workplace, Wherever God has put you, give your absolute best effort in everything that you do where God has put you to work. Don't just try to do enough to get by or just enough to get the job done, but do it with excellence, giving God thanks for that job, giving God thanks for the abilities that you have to get that job done. See, this is where God is most pleased. It's not about doing better than somebody else. God is most pleased when you give your total all, your 100%. When you give your everything to him, that's when he's most pleased. Um, the athlete doesn't have to be an all-state basketball player or soccer player in order to please God. If that athlete is given his or her best to Jesus, that's all God requires. If that person in the workplace, if that person at home, if that person in the ministry, if that person serving in the church, they don't have to sing better. They don't have to perform better. They don't have to, they don't even have to get better results compared to somebody else. What they have to do, what God requires us to do is that we give our absolute all and we give our absolute best to him. And in the process of all that, we give him thanks every day for that job, for the ability to do the job. Do that today. Do that this week. Give God your absolute all. Give him your best and give him thanks that he's put you in that place. Give him thanks for the abilities to get the job done and that's when God is most pleased. Okay? My time's up. I hope you have a great day today. We'll talk to you tomorrow. God bless you.